on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking a conducting filament carries current i from point a to point b show that at point p h magnetic field intensity that is equal to i over 4 phi square root of x square plus y square times b over square root of x square plus y square plus b square minus a over x square root of x square plus y square plus a square a phi now let's go ahead and draw the diagram for this one since we have three points we are going to have xyz components right so let's go ahead and draw the axis let's say this is z axis this is y axis and this is x axis this is x and this one is y and this one is z okay we have a point p located at x y zero so let's say that that point is somewhere here so we are going to connect this one like this like this and this is the point p that is x comma y comma zero okay and they are saying the conducting current conducting filament carries current i from point a to point b point a is located at zero zero a so this is 0 0 a and then point b is located somewhere here let's say this is 0 0 b okay now we have this one and the angle this one making with the z axis is this one is alpha 1 and this one is alpha 2 okay so we have these two angles and the positions are given we have to find out what is h is h can be and also we have to know this distance let's call this one rho from here to here let's call this one row okay now we are going to calculate everything actually calculate h magnetic field intensity that's what we have to prove this can be calculated using this formula 1 over let's use a different color h is equal to 1 over 4 phi rho 4 phi rho is this dis rho, rho is this distance and then that one multiplied by cos alpha 2 alpha 2 is this angle so if we take the cos that's going to give us the vertical axis and then minus cos alpha 1 and if you do that that's going to give us the magnetic field intensity now let's go ahead and calculate each of them individually rho can be calculated using here you can see this is x y 0 and this position is origin 0 0 0 so if we subtract let's say rho is what 0 minus x square plus 0 minus y square so this is going to be the rho value and if we calculate this one negative x square mean that's going to be just x square so we are going to have x square plus y square okay so this is the rho now cos alpha mean cos alpha 1 to calculate cos alpha 1 cos is what adjacent over hypotenuse so adjacent over hypotenuse let's look at the adjacent for a alpha 1 is for this distance right we are looking at this distance this is located at 0 0 a so adjacent distance is a so here we are going to have a over square root of 0 minus x square if i subtract this one from here to here i'm looking at these two points this point and this point here okay zero minus x square plus zero minus y square plus a minus zero square and if you simplify this one this is going to give us a over a over square root of 
x square plus y square plus a square okay so this is what we are getting from cos alpha 1 now let's go ahead and calculate cos alpha 2 cos alpha 2 that's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse again for alpha 2 the distance is b because from here to here it's b b and this dis distance so b is the adjacent and that one divided by square root of 0 minus x square plus 0 minus y square for this one instead of a we are going to have b so this is going to be uh, all of them in the square root plus 0 minus b square so the only difference is instead of a we are going to have b right b over square root of x square plus y square plus b square so this is cos alpha 2 now all you have to do is just plug it in this equation plug everything in this equation that's going to give us the magnetic field intensity now let's go ahead and do that let's do that part in the bottom here h is going to be equal to 4 1 over 4 phi rho 4 phi we calculated rho that is square root of x square plus y square that one multiplied by cos alpha 2 cos alpha 2 is what b over square root of x square plus y square plus b square so b over square root of x square plus y square plus b square minus cos alpha 1 that's this one a over square root of x square plus y square plus a square and this is our magnetic field intensity and that's how we do this kind of problem if you look at this one and this is in the afi direction okay afi and therefore we proved this one okay that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching